Hello everyone. Welcome to the Ars Electronica Future Lab. My name is Yoko Shimizu. I'm an artist and researcher at the Ars Electronica Future Lab. Ars Electronica Future Lab is a laboratory and atelier for future systems. We collaborate with companies, organizations, museums, and government entities from around the world to create future visions and projects that connect art, technology, and society. In the lab, we have an international team of artists and scientists working together. This allows us to come up with very creative innovations and ideas and technologies that the world has never seen before. The lab is located in Linz, Austria, and today we are taking you on a journey inside the Ars Electronica Future Lab. We're now at the entrance of the Ars Electronica Future Lab. In the lab, we have two floors of lab space on the above ground, and also we have a meeting room on the upper floor. In the lab space, we have the desks and workstations of the researchers, and in the meeting rooms, we have brainstorming sessions and ideation workshops with the clients. For large-scale development, tests, and simulations, we have a larger studio space underground. Today, we have the Future Inc. project team working in the studio. Let's visit them. Come with me. Thank you, Peter. Hello. Hi. Um, so now we're in the studio space of the Ars Electronica Future Lab. Today we're working on the Future Inc. project, and with me is Peter Holtzkorn. He is the key researcher and artist of the Ars Electronica Future Lab. Peter is also the leader of the Space Inc. research. So the Future Inc. project is a collaborative research project between Ars Electronica Future Lab and Wacom. Wacom is the world's leader in pen tablet technology, bringing together creative communities around the world. Our Future Inc. project journey started from one creative question. Where is my soul? When we see the artwork and the performance of the artist as they pour their life, passion, emotion, and soul into that one special moment, we are moved in ways that we cannot explain. How do we capture and convey that special moment and that soul? In the Future Inc. project, we have five key research areas. Space Inc., Bio Inc., AI Inc., Mind Inc., and Body Inc. And today in the studio, we would like to show you Space Inc. And Peter, can you tell us a little bit about the Space Inc. research? Sure. Um, so Space Inc. is the uh, is the first of the of these projects that we're that we're taking on, and the the idea was basically to to connect Wacom pen and tablet technologies 
to our drone and swarm control technologies and to see where we can take that interaction and how especially we can draw in space. So that's where the name comes from, Space Inc. Uh, finding a way to uh, map that agency that the, that the artist has with the tablet and the pen to a three-dimensional space with the drone as a brush, as it were. And it's fascinating that using this research, we will be able to draw in any space with a pen. And we just saw the drones um, flying inside the studio. Can you show us a little bit what you are doing right now? Yes, sure. So maybe I'll start with the, uh, with the general setup. Mm -hmm. So we are using, uh, we are using our, um, our Swarm OS uh, technology, which makes it possible to make drones, robots compatible to our Swarm control uh, technology stack. Uh, so we can relatively easily and quickly integrate new vehicles into the Swarm. Uh, the setup that you have here is our experimental studio environment. On the one hand, you can see, um, you can see the, uh, the OptiTrack system that we're using to, to track the vehicles moving through space, so we know their position at any time, because outdoors, of course, you have, uh, you have GPS for getting that position, and indoors, you have an optical system. And that optical system gives us uh, the location, and that location is fed into our ground control system, where it is then relayed to the drones, so the drones themselves can then understand where they are in space. And the, uh, let's say the, the addition that we're making to our existing setup here is that we're connecting it to Wacom technologies. So here we have a setup with a special guest from, uh, from Wacom, Mike, who is an artist and designer who's uh, currently working with Wacom on special projects um, and giving us input and, and discussing and trying things out with us in this Space Inc. project. And in this setup here, we, uh, we have connected our uh, custom software uh, that runs on a mobile Wacom uh, tablet, um, tablet computer. And using that interface, using that input, we can, uh, we can map the pen movement in various ways to the drone, drone movement in space. And so there are a few, a few um, types of scenarios, a few kinds of mapping that we're currently trying out and to figure out figuring out what works best uh, in terms of the, you know, getting the artist to express what they want in this new, in this new medium in a way. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is truly fascinating. And I was wondering if you can show us how Mike, the artist, creates a sketch or a drawing and how that is translated into the movement of the drone. All right, so uh, let me talk about what we have here. Um, it's a fantastic combination of different technologies. We have a drone flying in the, in the air, in the space, and we also have a fantastic digitizer that uh, tracks the motions of a hand and the stylus on the, on the board. But what that combination brings us, in a way for us, it's a fantastic opportunity to reveal an inv invisible component of the creative process of the motion that hand makes on the medium. Those things, they remain invisible, but thanks to the combination of these two technologies, we can amplify them, we can, be, we can make them visible. And in a way, although we are drawing on a two-dimensional medium, its representation reveals that it, in fact, it is a three-dimensional motion. Our hand never stays in the 2D. The fingers are moving in a complex pattern moving through the space. And thanks to the drones, we can finally see that. This drawing was now created using a light painting technique, meaning that we're using a camera with additive exposure settings and a projector to gather the light of the drone, layer it uh, on top of each other, and in sum, create this image. 
this means that we are really using the, the drone in the physical space and the light it emits there to create another intermediary medium to result in this artifact. And that means that the space in concept is not just another kind of output for the pen movement, but it really uses the real space to create another layer of painting. everybody for joining us on our journey inside the Ars Electronica Future Lab. I hope you enjoyed our presentation of the Future Inc. project. Be sure to check out all of the other contents and videos created by our Future Lab teams. See you again. Bye!